Good morning everybody. In this uh, video I'm going to show you how to use the graphical user interface in uh, Visual Studio, the GUI part. So far we've been learning how to use the uh, uh, how to use the console application. But the console application is really not I mean you cannot really write a program and then give it to users to use based on the console application. The console application just to get you used to it at the beginning. So what we're going to do is that we're going to create file a new project. If I can do this. <laughs> and then we're going to call this, the, because this is chapter 3, so I'm going to call it chapter 3 GUI. Okay. Which is graphical user interface. In the past, we used to select, you remember what we used to select? We select console application, right? But now, what do we select? We select Windows Form. And then when I hit OK, you'll see something a little bit different than what you used to do, see earlier, which is the, uh, the uh, console application. Let me first make it so it looks like what you have and explain what these are. So in most cases, when you run your application, when you run your form, you will have these windows open. And I'll explain what these windows are. First, here are the toolbox. What are the toolboxes? The toolboxes are things that you can use in your program. For example, if I want to add a button on my screen here, my form, there is something called button. So all I need to do is I simply drag it and drop it into my form. For example, if I wanted to allow the user to enter things on the screen, we have something called text box. So I can click and drag this here. So I'll have a text box. So these are controls. Okay, we call those controls. Now there are different controls and they are grouped. If you notice, there are tabs. If you see this, you have uh, they're grouped into like this. So here is containers, this is menu bars, data, components, and the first one is all. Okay, so all means what? Everything. And you have one called common. Common is like the one that we use the most. So you can select either one of those. If this is not shown on the screen, for some reason you close it by mistake. For example, if I close this and it's not shown here anymore, so how do I bring it up back to my window, my form? You go to here, you go to view, and then you have one of them is called toolbox. You see that? You select it, now it appears again on your screen. You have another thing here, you have this pin, the auto hide. If you want to make your screen bigger and then you have more space to work with your form, you can make this auto hide. Now it's still here, when I point at it, it'll expand. When I move away from it, it'll collapse. So if you want to pin it back, all you need to do is that click on that pin and then now it is available. So that is the toolbox. And on the right hand side, you have the solution explorer and then you have the properties. Again, these are windows. The solution explorer contain all the files in your project. If you have multiple files in your project, you will be, they will be here. For example, this is a form. It's called form one. And so I have here, do you see this? I have form one.cs, okay? Designer, or well, just look at it this way, form one.cs, right? So here is this form that I'm working with. If you add another form, you will have another form here. If you add images, the images will be here. You get the idea? So this is everything that is contained in your folder. We call that the Solution Explorer. All right. Below it, you have the properties. What are the properties? Properties are things, khasais in Arabic, right? The things that describe a particular project, uh, object. Do you remember when we were doing the robot, we would put the uh, motor and then we change the uh, speed, the direction, and then uh, all of these things? Same thing. A form has properties. I will point out when we're doing the design what are the properties are important to us, and they are in your handout, the chapter that I, I, uh, I gave you today. For example, 
This is a form. It has form one as a name. So I can, the title says right now, it says form one. What can I do? What I can do, because form one is not descriptive, I can change this title to say my name or whatever you want to say. So, so you, can change, you, uh, you can change it to say whatever you want. So how do I change this title of this form to say something that I wanted to say? We go to one of the properties here and change that properties. And the property that changes the titles, usually it's called text. So if you have a label, if you have a button, if you have a text box, the property that is responsible of changing the values is called text. So if I go down here, and then, okay, when you're doing the properties, you can, use, you can do it in two ways. One way is that this is categorized into groups, or you can click on A to Z, which is alphabetized, and this is what I use the most because it's easier to find the, uh, the properties. So if I select A to Z, I'll have a property called TXT. Right now, what's written in it is form one. I can change that. I can say, for example, my first form. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. My first form, okay? What was this? Was that true or false? Okay. So. I'll leave it either way. So now notice what happened to my form. It changes that. If you want to change it to your own thing, again, what property do you go to? You select the form first, then you go to the property text, and then you change it. In addition to that, you can change, for example, the color of your form, the background color of your form. Right now it's gray, but if I want something different, all I need to do, I can go to a property called background. So. Oh, I go down here and there is a property called background. Do you see that background color, back color? If I click on it, then I can select what color do I want. For example, if I want this, now it changes to that color. If I want different color, again, you, go, you don't like that color, you can select another color. Okay? You can select from custom color, for example, or web color, or system color, whatever you want. The custom color, you can make your own color, of course. If you click on this, it'll give you more option to make your own color, or you can select any of those colors. Is that clear? So what are the properties for? The properties to change description of your object, okay? So we change the color, and let me change it to something easier than that, okay? You can go back to what it was, the system color, remember? And it was control or you can just select this one, okay? All right, you can size your form, you can just make it bigger, smaller, or you can change it from here. There is a property called what? Size, do you see this? When you go down, you find it, and you find size, okay? So that is the size. You can also change the picture. You can put a background picture in your form. So you can go back and then next to the background color, there is a background image. So I can select from here. Notice when I click on that, I'll get this little box here. And then with the dots, I click on that. And then I can import an image to my project. If I click on import, and then I find an image, uh, the images that I have are too big. So it will be too big to show on the screen. Let me see if I can find anything. Uh, let's say this one here, okay? And then hit open. Now I hit okay, my form have that image, okay? Now the image is stretched, right? So the t it is tiled, but you can change it to different, see, do you see this here, background image? It's tiled. What does it mean tiled? It means it will fit, try to fit the image into your form. And if it's too small, it will put another one, another one, and so forth. Now you can change this. You can change this to say, uh, instead of tiles, you can say center, stretch, or something like that. So if you make it stretch, it will stretch the size of your form. If you change the size of the form, it will change with it. You got the idea? Yeah? 
That is the property stretch. All right. So that is the properties for a particular form. You can do a lot of things with it. Another thing that is important to us, another property that is important to us is the name. Right now, what is the name of that form? Form 1. But if I want to use this in my program, I give it my own name. Why do I give it my own name? So I can reference it in my program. For example, I can say FRM main form, for example. Or just FRM just main. What does that mean to me? It means that I use, uh, it means that now in my program I can reference this form by its name. What is the name of this form? FRM mean because I gave it a name. You know how you define variables? Remember how we define variables? Like we used to say uh, int width and then int length. It's the same thing. You give it your own name. Why? So you can change it inside your program. All right. So now this is just to get used to the property. I'm going to stop this video and then we'll go back and I'll show you how we add control to this form. Okay. Before I do this, now how do you run this form? If you run this form, you just simply run it just like you used to run it. Now here is my form. If I minimize this, notice this is just a regular application, window application, like you have a calculator or a messenger or anything like that you can run it and then it will appear like an application in your computer now if I change it notice the, the image will change with it why is it changing with it because we change the property instead of tile to stretch remember that so that's why it's stretching with your form to close it you just simply click on X and then it will close you can go back to the application now and then you can make changes to it. Okay, so this is the first part. All right, I'm gonna pause it because I don't wanna make it too long. It'll be boring if it's too long. So I'm gonna stop this one and then